Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at a module that gives us the ability to customize Hangout. It's called X Hangout, so let's check it out. First thing we want to do is obviously download and install the module itself. We'll go directly into the Expos repository and download X Hangout. Current version is 2.1.6. And then once you install it, check the box, restart the device. It is compatible with Android 5.1.1. Um, and as far as actual Hangout, it is compatible with the latest version of Hangout as of filming this video. Uh, first thing you want to do, obviously, when you do turn on the actual module is turn it on within the application. So this actually enables it to basically start working for you. The next thing is you can hide it from the app drawer, which I'd like to do because I don't want to have extra icons for no reason. I usually like to go directly into the Expose installer to modify any of my modules. High quality resizing gives us the ability to increase the quality of the pictures that we're putting in directly into our Hangouts and sharing. Uh, we have the orientation correction, which corrects for if you're taking pictures sideways, it auto corrects that for you and then provides a, a you know a correct orientation for your pictures. Um, correction mode, this kind of goes in and gives you, you know, auto correction. Do you want to go 90 degrees, 180? Um, auto, it does the best that it can to actually see which way you took the picture and correct it. But if you know you normally take pictures at a certain angle, you can auto correct it to a certain way. The next thing here is resize dimensions. Um, it's hard to read here because of the font coloring and my theme, uh, but I have 1024 by 1024, so that's basically the resolution I'm going here. Uh, it's the set default that came directly from the setting when I installed this. Uh, of course, here it gives you a, a preview of what the resolution is. It's at 81%. I can bump it up all the way to 100%, and it gives me a resolution size of 438 kilobytes if I want to go to 100%. Of course, I can go as low as 24, so it depends what you want to do, and it has the ability to check in between JPEG and PNG. By default, obviously, most of our pictures that we send are JPEG, so we'll go ahead and go that back there. And then we also have an extra feature here that's new to the X Hangout functionality, which is the APN splicing. It gives us the ability to have a better performance of using a custom APNs within uh, Hangouts to be able to send and receive MMS messages. And the developer does provide us with a few options in here. There's AT&T, Cricut, and Verizon pre-customly set. If not, you can copy your own custom uh, APN information that's usually provided to you directly within your provider. Uh, put that in there, save it, and then you'll be able to go in. There is a more button functionality here that gives us more information as far as what APN splicing and what the benefits of it and the fact that it's stable enough now for us to use with Hangout. Here we have next is the enter key functionality. What do we want the enter key to do? Is it actually going to be the emoji, which is the default one? Um, or you can change it to be the new line or send. So you can set the customization there as well. Attach um, anytime. So this is one of those where if you press and hold the emoji icon, it'll turn it into a actual attach functionality. Um, hide call button if you don't want to see the call button at the top right of your screen. Send and lock requires root permission, obviously it will ask for that. Uh, and what it does essentially is that you can actually hit it to send the message and then lock the device if you know that's the last thing you want to do. And it's done by pressing and holding on the send button, not just doing a regular send. Uh, and of course, app color, this is really nice. It gives us the ability to set the color that we would like for the top bar of our Hangout application. So currently, uh, I think I have it on blue, and I think the indigo blue, uh, but let's go with a color that's slightly too, or kind of really funky, and then we'll see how that goes. And of course, it shows us X Hangout version here, debugging mode if you want to turn it on. Um, we'll go in, and then we're going to launch our Hangout application. Right now it's running on a blue color and that's because my Hangout was already running. So what you want to do to be able to allow that option to apply is close Hangout. Once you do that, the functionality turns on and now we have that nice orange coloring that you get up there. And of course, if I want to change it back again, the one thing you want to do obviously is first close Hangout, go back into the setting itself and then change the color to whatever you want. Again, I prefer to stay with Indigo mostly because close this. And we're back to the color that we had here. The options that you get within X Hangout are really needed to be within the Hangout application. And unfortunately, they're not. And that's really why we use this. If you have Expose installed, even if you're running on Android 5.1.1, which is what I have on my device, it will work and it will give you the setup options that you do need to be able to use this functionalities. Uh, and I say specifically to the APN splicing to have a better experience using and sending SMS and MMS. The compression rate that we normally can actually set now where we usually don't. So we have the ability of actually saying what the quality of the pictures that we're sending. Of course, the ability to basically set uh, the functionality as far as the color, uh, you can change the theme to match whatever your overall system theme is. If you like to have it on a darker theme, unfortunately black is not one of the options available under the list, but hopefully we'll see that in the near future. I like to try to keep it in with a darker theme and that was the only one I couldn't see so I chose blue and that works really nice for me. Uh, the last thing I want to mention here obviously is the ability to customize the functionalities within the send button. 
uh, you have one option that didn't used to be there before, which is the long press of the send button will actually send the message and lock the device and you can just go about your business. That's something new that we didn't have before, but definitely check it out. Let me know if you actually use Hangout as an application. Do you use it for just messaging as far as Google messaging or do you use it as your default messaging application for MMS and SMS messages? I like it. I like to have it on my system. I don't use them combined. I use Textra for my text messages and I use Hangout for Hangout. So. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on the next one.